I'm Chelsea Rose, and I'm the lead excavator for Time Team America. The Josiah Henson Special Park is a site where Josiah Henson lived and worked, and he was one of the inspirational characters for Uncle Tom's Cabin. They'd done some excavation there, but they hadn't really found anything that linked directly to uh, Josiah Henson. So that was part of our goal, to look at these different aspects of the site that might directly tie into that time period. Any archaeologist can tell you, you always make the best finds at four o'clock on the last day. It just, I don't know why, it just happens that way. It really was at the last minute. We're in there in the in the kitchen and, you know, we had to pull up the boards first and wait for that. And then there was like cement we had to get out. And then, you know, so going down, we didn't know what we were going to find. We had masks on because there was rats and we found one floor and we thought that was good. And then there was a, like a rodent hole and underneath I was like, maybe this is floor. So I had Mick dig down on his side and he hit it. There's embedded charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, that's so I think that's want. a definite different mm -hmm. layer. So we had this little square that was like our truth window down, and we went down not only to the second floor, but a third floor. And so, you know, that was that was really exciting. But all it was was like a hard surface, and then it got loose, and then you'd get a hard surface. But as archaeologists, we know what that means. You know, that's yeah. that's really so, exciting. I mean, that's incredible. But to anybody who wasn't an archaeologist, you, you couldn't even see what we were doing or why we were so excited. So I look up, and Greg, our cameraman, is like taking a nap on a chair, and Bruce is too, and nobody's filming it. And I, you know, I had to be like, what are you doing? Why aren't you filming this? And, and it took a convincing, because they were like, well, what are you doing? There's nothing there. And I was like, the floor, the floor. <laughs> but I mean, that's, that just goes to show you that uh, it, it can be really difficult to understand exactly what we're seeing. Um, when you're close to something or when you're in an area that you know there's archeological stuff there, you're listening for sound changes of the metal on the dirt, for compression, for color changes. You know, it can be so subtle. and. Sometimes it is not sexy. It is just a clunk when you hit your trowel, but it means something so big, you know. Oh, yeah. So, Joe, do you see that? I do. We're there. Because that was really the clincher. That was the difference between, OK, we found a floor from the 1850s, and OK, we found a floor from the 1850s, and we found two floors below that. And that totally changes the game. That gets us into the time period of Josiah Henson. So, I mean, at this point, I'm starting to feel comfortable saying that there could have been a building here that Josiah Henson walked That in. site was really special and unique in the fact that the story is so tangible today. Before we went there, we all read the books, and we always do some background research to familiarize ourselves. But reading Josiah Henson's memoirs, I mean, it's timeless. It's, it's relevant now. And then uncovering the floor where he could have walked. It's just, we all felt really privileged to be there and to experience that and to, I don't know, get to make that discovery.